to Health Facts with Dr. Danish. In this video, we're going to find out the prone positioning effects on patients with COVID-19 pneumonia and the right instructions as to how we could actually position our patients in different uh, position to be able to increase the oxygen saturation in the circulation. In patients who are not hospitalized and have coughing and difficulty breathing. But first, here's the updates as of July 13, 2020. According to Wordometer website, as of July 13, 2020, we have uh, 13,135,091 confirmed cases, and out of these patients, 573,302 death. The number of daily new cases are still growing up. And we had the highest daily new cases in July the 10th, 236,918 patients. This graph shows the distribution of cases in different countries. As you can see, United States with 26.20% of the whole cases uh, is number one. Brazil with 14.22% is number two. Two, India with 6.9% is in third position and Russia, Peru, Chile and Spain thereafter. We had a good fall in April 26 uh, in the number of serious cases but again in May 20th uh, we had a jump in serious cases. Also we had a less dramatic jump in June 21st, as you can see here, in the serious and critical cases. This graph is from John Hopkins University website and it shows the five-day average of uh, the number of cases in different countries. In Brazil, for example, the five-day average uh, goes up. In United States, we have uh, almost a second wave but it's going up as you can see the five-day average is going up the five-day average in mexico and india are going up in iran there is a downward slope uh, for five days average uh, in peru it's going up as well the five-day average in russia is going down for the new cases and in colombia is going up South Africa and Iraq are both going up, as you can see. So when a patient uh, lie down on a supine position, uh, there's a chance of ventral alveolar overdistension, which means extra air in frontal alveolar sac, which is an important mechanism of persistent lung damage following severe ARDS. ARDS or ARDS uh, is something happened in uh, patients with COVID-19 pneumonia uh, in severe cases uh, when they're hospitalized in ICU and the dorsal alveoli collapse as you can see here increases the severity of this condition whereas in prone position there is no chance of dorsal alveolar a collapse as you can see also in frontal alveolar sac there is less chance of over distension this study that published in april 2020 they studied the prone positioning in awake non-intubated patients with covid19 hypoxemic respiratory failure and uh, they screened consecutive patients admitted to the columbia university step down unit uh, between April 6 and April 14, 2020. Inclusion criteria were laboratory confirmed COVID-19 with severe hypoxemic respiratory failure defined as a respiratory rate of 30 breaths per minute or greater and oxyhemoglobin saturation SpO2 of 93% or less while receiving supplemental oxygen six liter uh, per minute via nasal cannula and 15 liter per minute via non-rebreather face mask. Oxyhemoglobin saturation is the percentage of oxygen carrying by hemoglobin in our circulation to reach to this distance area and all over our body. 
only one hour after initiation of prone position in a weak non-intubated patients with COVID-19 uh, as you can see the oxygen saturation uh, in some cases uh, below 70 went up to more than 95 percent as you can see in all other cases as you can see there is an upward slope uh, from a lower number to a higher number and uh, they they reached the goal of this uh, study that is more than 95 percent uh, of oxygen saturation but in some cases they didn't they actually reached to 90 percent but still an upward slope from a lower number to higher number so in this small single centered cohort study they found that the use of the prone position for a week spontaneously breathing patients with COVID-19, severe hypoxemic respiratory failure was associated with improved oxygenation. In addition, patients with an SPO or oxygen saturation of 95% or greater after one hour of the prone position was associated with a lower rate of intubation. Here is instruction for patients with cough and trouble breathing. These instructions are from uh, Dr. Suzanne Bentley, but I'm going to add a little bit to that. Number one, 30 minutes to two hours of laying down on your belly. And of course, you need to put some pillow in this area. And uh, then uh, number two, 30 minutes to two hours of laying on your right side. Number three, uh, 30 to 2 hours, 30 minutes to 2 hours of sitting up uh, could be in 45 degrees or more. And number 4, uh, 30 minutes to 2 hours of laying on your left side. And uh, of course, you need to add some pillow uh, whenever you're on your side as well. And then back to the position 1. I hope you enjoy this video. And if you like this video and find it beneficial, Please share it in your social media and uh, to your friend and families. And uh, like always, stay happy and healthy. Thanks and have a great day.